Well, hello, boys and girls. It's when I feel like it o'clock, and I'm Pearl of Wisdom. You're listening to my NHL Pearls of Wisdom, BPAL Picks edition. That's right, BPAL Picks, the Patreon that is the thing that is all things. You go over and check it out. I'll give it, give you a free month, this month for free. You can check it out. If you don't like it, leave. You got to take the $25 package. I have a question about that. I'm going to be giving you all the NHL picks, okay? Overs, unders. I'm going to give you them really quick to start off uh, in a second. But I gotta let me. you got to at least listen to the letter that I have here. I have a letter, so it's kind of rude not to listen to the letter, right? You should listen to the letters. Uh, also, subscribe, and I'll send you a My NHL Pearls of Wisdom necklace, pearlocoptered, right to your door. Subscribe to the channel. Do it. No. Yeah, no, now. Yeah, exactly. There you go. Right. On. Okay, here we go. Uh, we have a letter. Guido goes down every morning into the mailroom. He gets a sack of letters. He comes up the stairs. I like to watch him as he does. He looks just like that. And then he pours it all over the letter table and... Helen, who stitches and knits all your Pearls of Wisdom necklaces, and uh, Hernandez, Melissa, Caroline, my wife, we all do the Perlo dance, and there's much, there's frolic in the land. And uh, then we pick some letters and we read them, and then we give them to you. Stolar Perchuski from Zakol Poland has two questions. First question, uh... The link I was using for Patreon apparently was incorrect. He's asking, I tried the link and it didn't work. I'm doing a different link now. It'll be in the bio. We just hit it. It should work perfect. If for some reason it doesn't work for you, just go on Safari, search Pearl uh, BPAL Picks, and it'll take you right to the main page and you can do all your business from there. Uh, also, Stoller said, are you going to be doing a trade deadline special this year well it's funny you ask yes i do it every year you know but this year we're doing it with the steel flyers all sports network which i'm affiliated with i actually do a show from three to five every weekday eastern and uh you can go over there we do picks and there's much frolic it's fun so much fun interactive but that is through steelflyers.com go to the steel flyers website after this right away it's pretty cool and uh, so it's not all Flyers. It's the All Sports Network. Anyways, all of us, Peyton on the radio, Off the Wall John, the GOAT, which is Off the Wall John, uh, and the professor, the Professor Joe Borek. You can go check him out at uh, Sports Fanatic News. Peyton on the radio has his own channel. And Off the Wall is John from Off the Wall. And we're going to be doing... We already did two, or well, we did one, and we're going to be doing the central one tomorrow morning. So thanks for your letters, my friend. Now, quick picks. Here we go. Canucks ML under six. Flyers ML over six. Jets ML over five and a half. Flames ML over six. Blues ML over five and a half and Vegas in reg over six. There you go. Now we're going to talk about it. We're going to talk about the games going on. There's some games already still happening. I just had a poopty thing. Yeah, it's not that bad, actually. We'll talk about it in a second. So let's get to our games from last night first. And then we'll go to our games, a uh, couple games that we have for tomorrow. Now, that what, what do I mean by last night and tomorrow? Today is the 16th, tomorrow is the 17th. So we're doing the 16th ga games here. Look at this, the Avalanche come back. Woo! I need that. I had a, they put Mishka in at the buggers. Screw, almost screwed me up, maybe screwed me up. Okay, Devils versus the Sabres. We had a good one here, boys and girls. We had a two to two and a half units, whatever you felt like, on the Devils. Money line and... The under for one unit. So, good one. Good start to the day. Uh, we had 
Um, medium, so two units on the under here and uh, small on the Islanders. So we were up, uh, I think we're up about a unit there. So we're up what, two, what was that? We had one unit and two units. So we're up about, about two, just over two. So we're just over two, just over three units. Uh, here we had two units on the under again with Bruins in Pittsburgh. We did have Penguins for small pearls though. Just small. So we're up another unit there. Four and a half units. Uh, Red Wings. Oh, this was ugly. We had large pearls on the Hurricanes money line. So what did I say? We're up four. And we also, oh, we didn't, oh, we, no, sorry. We came back. We had a half unit on the over. So we're up about a unit and a half. Somewhere around there. I get, I'm about ish. You know, you know, the, every, you know, every little decimal point and stuff like that. I, I don't want to put down people that do that. I just don't have time for it. No. <laughs> I'm lazy. I'm the lazy, better person thinker. Uh, wild, we had this in so many ways. It was beautiful. We had large on the in reg. And we had a unit on the under. So now we're up about four units, somewhere around there. This is the one, this is not, uh, well, we got small, very small. I was just mad at the Lightning. I really didn't think they were going to lose this game, but I was mad after them losing to Nashville. Sometimes you make emotional bets, but for small, I liked the under mostly, and the under came in. And now we had one unit on the over here so we're already good there but we need the avalanche to score two in the uh and not allow any i did not know they were going to put mr mishka in that though nope i probably would have went in reg but they can still score two they were all over the ducks in this game uh i believe they've only had like what was this? oh yeah 14 shots and four goals and that's just hunter mishka that not really an NHL goaltender. So, pretty darn good. It looks like we're going to be up pretty significant pearls. And as you can tell, if you watch all these videos, we're up just about every day. Also had, oh, a nice tennis pick come in today. That's right. Uh, uh, Nisha Curry won for 230. Put a unit on that, so we're up there. Uh, I don't think I had any NCAA or basketball today. Nope. Uh, nothing like that. So I got more tennis coming tomorrow, and I hit on tennis like crazy. Let's get to our bets for tomorrow, shall we? Okay, Vancouver, Ottawa. Um, I am tentatively taking Vancouver here. Uh, just because Demko is so good. And Joey Decord is a gamer but he's small and he's probably not going to be a full-time NHL goaltender in the long run. Uh, it's a good story. Uh, but the thing was that last game, Ottawa really did out shoot, uh, outplay Vancouver. My thinking is that now Vancouver was just had a long flight and all of that kind of stuff like that. Ottawa wasn't a back to back. I would not put much on this. I could see Ottawa. I might, by by tomorrow, if I really think about it, what's the spread? I may think of Ottawa plus one and a half. I'm just really worried about that decor kid. I don't think Vancouver has to score a lot or shoot a lot to get enough past him to win this game. What I do like, though, what I do like is the under. I like that juice. You can get 204 on bet online for that juice. Uh, I like it because Demko is just out of his head right now. Crazy. He's playing like he did in the playoffs now. It's the reason pretty much why Vancouver is winning. Anyways, it's a dicey game, but I do like the under. I don't think Ottawa is going to score enough. And uh, Vancouver still is without Peterson and a few other players to... Uh, let me see. I just wanted to see. Just make sure Peterson's not back. No, Peterson's out, Roussel, Bagel. They're not really for much for in the sense of uh, scoring, but they 
Vancouver's going to have to use a lot of players that aren't used to the NHL. So it's going to be, uh, it'll probably be a fairly low scoring game. Let's go to Philadelphia and the Rangers. I got to look here. Oh, yes. Uh, the Rangers are without Fox and they're without Buchnevich. Um I don't like Philadelphia's defense. We all know that. Uh, Gorgiev is going to be up for the Rangers and he's been, eh. Philadelphia can score, though. I like the over here, especially if you can get five and a half. Oh, my gosh. Over five and a half? Over five and a half. Yeah, I'm going to have to give that to my Patreon guys. Over five and a half, and we'll go Rangers. Oh, we'll go Philly ML, just because the Rangers are injured right now. Philly's got a bit of a roll. It'd be interesting to see if they go back to Carter Hart here. Then I definitely like the over because Carter Hart is struggling. Uh, if it's Elliott, I'm not sure I like the over as much. If it's five and a half, I do. Yeah, still like it. Uh, Winnipeg, Montreal. Now, Montreal won the last game. Um, they have been on the road an awful long time. They do seem to be rolling. This is going to be tight one. This is going to be a tight game. It's probably going to be Hullabuck again. Price looks like he's back, or at least he did last game anyways. Uh, very difficult game to pick, choose here. I'm going to take, did I take Jets? Yeah, I took Jets ML over five and a half. And uh, I'm, I'm just going to put small pearls on that because I'm not very confident. Edmonton, Calgary. Edmonton is without Barry. Cairo doesn't make much of a chance, but lo any Edmonton losing anybody off their defense is uh, not a good thing. They've been on the road an awful lot. They've played an awful lot. I'm taking Calgary ML, and I'm taking the over six. I I like the way Calgary's playing right now. Daryl Sutter has them playing uh, desperate hockey, and that's been Edmonton's main problem is not knowing – playing desperate hockey. They got all the skill in the world, but they need desperation. Blues, oh yeah, uh, Los Angeles is first game back off the road. St. Louis is rested. I'm gleaning St. Louis ML here. And I don't know why I have over five and a half. I, the total I'm not sure on. I'm going back and forth right now. Under five and a half. Because Peterson is so good. And Bennington is playing okay. Los Angeles has had trouble scoring lately. Yeah, probably under five and a half for that. Um, San Jose versus Vegas. Okay, I had San Jose PL last game because Vegas was off, off a long road trip. First game back off a long road trip. I, I mentioned that a lot. Those are tough games for players. Because when they, oh, Dallas just scored. Oh, I don't like that. That's going to, if that, no. I would have rather just took my under on that game. <laughs> Shoot. Because uh, now I got to sweat whether Tampa Bay is going to get an overtime or an empty netter, and that would screw up my whole card there. But that's all right. We're up anyways, right? We're up, and we're going to be more up because Colorado is going to score two in the third, and then we're really up. Uh, I'm going to take Vegas this time is what I'm trying to say. They had their first game back of the road trip. They have had some rest. They've taken care of their family issues, all of that stuff like that. That's what happens when you have first game back off a road trip, especially if you only have one day in between. You've been on the road for a week, week and a half. You come home. You have family stuff to take care of, right? wife maybe arguments and maybe not but you know there's just and there's just a letdown there's kind of a it's kind of a relief and your focus goes off the game for a little bit it's a change of flow now they're back on the road uh now they're back at home for a while now things are settled they got their minds back on the game here uh vegas did win that game 2-1 uh, Jones should be in net here. If I was San Jose, I'd keep rolling with Dubnik because he is playing very well. Flurry should be in net and Jones. I'm kind of leaning to Vegas really rocking the crap out of this 
and scoring a lot and going over on six. But Vegas in regulation is my play there. Well, that's my full 42%, boys and girls. That's all I have to give for you today. Uh, I'll be back doing this tomorrow, you know. You know, you know. Um, and thank you for hitting. I'm, I'm moving up in subscribers. Uh, really a lot, a lot. And Patreon members coming over. And that really helps because I don't bet on games. I don't know what it is. It's voodoo. It's weird. It's whatever you want to call it. You don't even have to believe me. I guess it doesn't matter. <laughs> but when I bet, I don't. My picks go south like crazy. I don't know. I stopped thinking the way. Yeah, I find when I'm not betting, I'm, I'm very much a. Uh, uh, once I put money on something, it's like it becomes a job or something. I don't know what it is. I haven't figured it out. I like to figure it out because I can make a lot of money if I can bet. Dallas just scored again. So now I need Dallas to score in overtime to uh, break even on this. And I get to have the satisfaction of picking. Oh, it would be more than break even. They're 260. Yeah, that would be killer, actually. Come on, Dallas. Hitter. Hitter. I got a two. I, I get uh, oh, oh, double and I get uh, one and a half times my money. Just over. Sweet. Anywho, uh, what was I saying? Yeah, so Patreon. I started a Patreon to give people picks and. Uh, make them money and uh, so I can make a little money for myself. So if you're feeling it, head over there. I'll give you a free month. If you take the lower tier stuff, you don't get a free month, but it's just as much frolic. The only thing is with the large tier, you get uh, parlays, you get a free month, you get all kinds of stuff like that uh, where you don't get in the lower tiers. Okay. Have a great day, everybody. Lots of love to you. Okay. Bye.